What's up? My name is Eric Jordan. I'm Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in, in Our Blood. blood. Alright, man. First off, yes. thoughts on the game? Thoughts on the Packers game. Boy, have we been here before? Yeah, we've been here before. You play so good, man, and then I just don't know. You know who Kaiser reminds me of? I'm, and this just say it all right here. Reminds me of Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston. They both got these these bodies and these frames, and they can throw the ball, and you just know it's coming. That bad decision is coming. <laughs> it's just coming. I'm like, how many times he gonna have to learn, you know, that he got a value not turning the ball over? That's why I'm saying you can see all the, the cosmetics look good on the kid. You know, the potential looks good on the kid. But it don't matter, man. I don't want to be Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man. Me neither. Yeah. No matter how much he goes through, neither one of them kids seem like they can learn from their mistakes. So, and maybe it takes a whole year. And all I could think was, man, what if Gordon has somebody accurate throwing him the ball right now? But at the same time, I like what I saw in the first three quarters. I did like what I saw, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still there. I mean, it's, he's still young. That's the biggest thing to remember. Like yeah. Everybody keeps, like, they don't want to remember it, that he is still young. Yeah. You know, he's only, what, 21? Mm hmm You know, yeah. everybody's in a win-now state of mind, but give him some time. Let him develop a little bit. Yeah, man. But you should be able to learn from, like, all right, don't turn the ball over in the fourth quarter. I mean, how many times are you going to learn that this year? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of miffed at the play call of that. It's third and two. Crowell is averaging over 4.5 yards of carry. Give him the ball and let him run it. Yeah, and he was having a good game. Yeah, Crow was so, in the rhythm. You know, just get the first down. Hugh Jackson said in his interview that he was just wanting to get his the ball in his best playmaker's hands. Right. Which is understandable, but it's third and short. You're in overtime. You need a touchdown to win the game. Just. Run it, get that first down, and then use one of those next two plays to try to get a route to Gordon. It was a horrible call, and I am completely on board with you now. Hugh got to stop making these calls. I think, Hugh, you are a good mentor of men. That should be your thing. Be the leader, be the role model, be the be the guy they come talk to when they need to. Put out the fires. Be that good. You give up the OC call. You can't do all that. You can't do both. Yeah, it's like you're doing too much. But I do think you're a good leader, and it seems like these kids do respond to you. But I think you guys give the play call. Away. And back to the Jameis Winston thing. The well, last thing I wanted to say about that was I think Jameis Winston values big plays. And he's yeah. like, I'll throw I'll my interceptions if I can make a big play happen. And I think that's kind of like the path where Kyers was going. He's like, I don't care about the interception. And, and the interceptions ain't going to throw me. It ain't going to blow me off. I'll just make the big play. No. No. I don't believe <laughs> you can win like that. No. I think you win by valuing not turning the ball over i said we're gonna get we're gonna get the dorsey here in a minute and <laughs> what's your, what you got any other um, thoughts i do just want to give a give some props to kaiser i mean he had his first three touchdown game mm -hmm. that was that was encouraging to see but other than that man like the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half you got to come away with points on this one of those two possessions because we were up seven at that point right the interception at the end of the first half I can take or leave. I mean, like I didn't mind the play call on that one. Right. But to start the second half, since you didn't get the points at the end of the first half, on the start of the second half, you gotta get points and yeah. not go three and out. Yeah. Because if you do that, then you make it a two possession game. Yeah. Even if it's just field goal, it's a ten point game. Then you get enough touchdowns, seventeen points instead of just fourteen points. Right. And we're not talking about an overtime loss. Right. Next thoughts. Sashi Brown relieved of his duties, shown the gates. And John Dorsey is hired in his place. Hey, Sashi, we appreciate you, bro. You know, a lot of people try to sit in that seat. You did, you did way better than most. We can't ride with a Wentz and a Watson pass up. I'm just sorry. You did a lot of little things that we liked, but like I said, I think last week, you know, it's like the hip hop game. Some local rapper's gonna break it open for some other local rapper to come in and take it national. Well, that's what you did. You played your role in our progression, and we're about to progress, because Dorsey is that dude. We needed someone who could scout a talent. I, maybe y'all all could have coexisted in the building together. Maybe that was never a thought, but maybe they need to make an example and move on to the next chapter. I'm sorry, like I said, Sashi, I think this is just the role you're gonna play into the greatness of what's gonna become us Browns. But Dorsey, he got Kelsey, he got Tyreek Hill, 
He traded for Alex Smith. I love the way the Kansas City Chiefs look. I love their defense. I love I love everything about it. I'm I'm so with this. We have to evaluate talent. I don't know are they if they're keeping the post the pasta the piece the 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 piece of piece. The pedesta. That dude. <laughs> I don't know if we keeping that dude. If we do, that's fine. Cause I don't mind some different ideas coming onto the table. Just need somebody strong to be say yay or nay. Nah, we're not doing the money ball this time more. Yeah, I like that money ball concept. We'll use it this time. I don't mind having that that in the mix of things. Um, but at the same time, we need a football guy to be able to see to look at Carson Wentz and be like, yeah, I think that guy got it. Yeah. Or look at Deshaun Watson and like, there's something special about that kid. We need that guy. And I think Ken Dorsey's it. I get that somebody has to take the fall for 1-28. <laughs> But I was like, you could see from the onset that the third year was going to be the most important year in this rebuild, no matter what. Right. Like, they wanted to take the long, sustained approach. You know, there's a lot of arguments saying that you can rebuild a franchise in two years. I right. get that. But the way that the approach that Sasha Brown, Barry, and Deepa Desta took is was third year three was going to be the big year. Mm. The fact that he doesn't get the chance to show why it was the big year. I mean, I like who they brought in just because of all your points. Right. But I, I kind of wish I would have. I would have liked to have seen, seen him still there. Whether it would have been bringing Dorsey in and keeping Brown, mm -hmm. I kind of would have liked to right. see what he could do with all that capital that he accumulated. Right. I feel you. I like that about you, Anthony. Yeah. You're a loyal guy. <laughs> you can't do nothing but respect that. You're like, you know, game with us is your lead with us. That's the kind of person you want yeah. in your squad. The record's not solely on Sasha Brown. Definitely not. Yeah, he. he Strip the roster down. It's about Wentz and Watson. But Hugh also, yeah. it's a combination of both, I think. Yeah. But yeah. Um, as for your, the drafting thing, like since you brought it up, I knew he was going to bring it up about him with Kelsey Hill and uh, who was the other one? Alex um, Smith. Alex Smith and Kareem Hunt. This was brought up by a guy on Twitter called Optimal Scouting, I think is what it was. Yeah, yeah. Optimum Scouting. His name's Eric Galco. What's up, Eric Galco? He said that. Uh, Sashi Brown and the Browns drafted 20 of 24 players that might be multi-year contributors. Take or leave it how you want. I personally don't agree with the number 20, but I went through and looked through them all. There's 12 that are for sure going to be here at least in the three years. Mm. And a possible five or six more. They're not star players. That's the thing. The only, the only real player that we got that is a for sure star that we know of right off the bat, that dude, 95. Yeah. It's about Wentz and Watson. That's what it's about. It's I mean, if Wentz, let's say Wentz and Watson don't have the year they had, then I don't think you have no issues from people about Sashi. It's like Sashi ain't doing too bad. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that we look his, at Wentz and say he wouldn't be top his 10. His legacy, Sashi Brown's legacy is coming down to the fact that he passed on those two. That that's is, all it is. That, that, yeah. That's going to be but it. But it's not looking at the whole picture in my mind. I understand someone's got to take the fall. And I actually like that they already had somebody in mind pretty much had a deal finalized when they let Sasha Brown go. I know they said Jackson is safe, but I'm not so. There's a lot can happen in the offseason. They've all got stuff to prove. Yeah. I'm just saying, Jackson might not be here again in the next year. Yeah. Thank you, Sashi. But at the same time, we got to keep moving. <laughs> Twitter flash. Okay, what's that about? All right, so Demarius Randall, defensive back from Green Bay. Uh-huh talked about saying he only held Gordon to one catch and Gordon came back with him and said you couldn't hold my jock strap man <laughs> I, 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 but I tell you what I did wonder why I was like all right well, where why aren't we getting Josh the ball more yeah the second half it was it was like they, they went away from him and that one um the interception he was definitely going to Josh and he had him locked up thing about it is that I think Kaiser with Josh he got to go ahead and throw the ball anyway just let him make the play well, board. he did do that on a few. There was two pass interference calls that were not called, in my mind, that should have been called. On mm -hmm. the, the, one was on, actually, I think both were on Demarius Randall. No, one was on the safety, but Demarius Randall was covering. But the second one, the second one was definitely on Demarius Randall, and they didn't call it. And 
those balls were right on the money for Josh to get. My thought is like, maybe you should worry about having a win under your belt first, because at the end of the day, Randall gets the last laugh, because the Packers won and it's still in the playoff hunt. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh well, yeah. oh, we're talking about should he, oh definitely, shut the F <laughs> up, Josh. Yeah, don't, don't give, him, give him his compliment and move on. No, I don't care if he did did or did not. You just ain't in a position yeah. where you need to be talking in the media. You've been kicked out for like two, three years. You should you shouldn't you shouldn't tweet, post, uh, send emails or anything. If we won the game, sure, say what you want. Let's get a couple wins on the belts first. Yeah, Joe, don't get ha don't get so happy so quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Player spotlight. Who do you think stood out? For us, Duke. Duke looked good, man. Crow looked good. I thought Crow looked good. Crow, we, don't never, we never get Crow enough low. I, I say give Crow the spotlight. Even though that last little thing he tried to do, he went out in there, he tripped his own self up. <laughs> that should have been a touchdown, Crow. Yeah, that one was there. Yeah. I, myself, for the game, I was impressed with Crow, too. Yeah. But I actually, I saw something earlier today. Chris and Kirksey and Joe Schobert, they're second and third in the NFL in run stops, according to Pro Football Focus this year. I'm kind of impressed by that. Defense did the job. We were in a position to win it. It was a local scoring game. I'd say defense did the job. I agree with that. But we're young, man. I am, we look good for three quarters. We just ain't been, we just can't play four quarters. Yeah. All right, so what are your keys to beating Baltimore? We're not beating Baltimore. Really? We're not beating Baltimore. <laughs> we're not beating, really? We're not beating the Steelers. We're not. The way our offense is moving for most of the games, as long as they don't commit those penalties, you guys can play FanDuel with us. Link will be in the description below. Just a quick recap. M Zap took the win this week. M Zap. I think he overtook Kellen. Because oh. Kellen finished in third. Your good good buddy Gary was like bottom of the barrel. Yeah, you very glad I couldn't get in. <laughs> very glad I couldn't get in G Money. Also make sure you check out Fantasy Football Bosses. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you check out Fantasy Football Bosses every Thursday. That's a podcast with Gary Wolf and Anthony Sellers right here. You can get that on iTunes, Mixcloud, SoundCloud. I always forget the one. Stitcher. Stitcher. Yeah. Pretty Stitcher. much anywhere streaming media. Yeah. Anywhere you get streaming media, you can get that stuff. And also, um, check out the Hyphen Re um, Hyphen Podcast Group. There's a lot of different podcast material in there. And also, this show is definitely in there. So you can get both Fantasy Football Bosses, which is on Thursdays. And that hyphens podcast group, podcast group, and you get Browns in our blood, our video vlog, football on the Browns show, also there too in yes. podcast form. Let us know what you think of our show. Leave us some comments and stuff. We yeah. like to we like to interact. So definitely. Yeah. Also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's Monster Long Sound Vision at YouTube. Make sure you check this out. And uh, like you said, yeah, subscribe share please leave comments we love yes. to interact with people and talk football it's a lot so, of fun yeah so definitely check us out yo my name is eric jordan i'm not eric jordan that's anthony sellers and this is browns, browns in, in our blood. blood here we go let's get this win get this win tough win in b more definitely in chicago <laughs>